My name is Matt Mumau, and I'm the owner of Mumau Web Marketing. Product photography that you could use for your e-commerce website, for example, or just to showcase some of your products on your store's uh, informational website. What you want to end up with is a very clean, simple, well-centered shot, usually with a very simple white background. There's always some value in hiring the pros. You know, they have a little bit more advanced gear. The lighting is better. Uh, you know, doing using this simple little method will really do quite a lot. First, a light box. Now, the, the probably the easiest way to do this is to simply go and get a big cardboard box, get some tissue paper, cut out holes around the sides of the box, and then tape the tissue paper to it. Um, you know, you're talking maybe a couple bucks there at most. I have these frames here that I've made, uh, but I've also used this tissue paper. In fact, I used a couple different types of paper, and uh, you know, this was what really worked best. <laughs> The next thing you'll have to do is make a backdrop. Uh, you know, usually a, a plain white piece of paper will do, uh, and that will allow your photos to, to look clean and crisp. Now we can start to set up some lights around this thing so that we can light the product a little bit better. Remember, the tissue paper is essentially going to make the light a little softer. Take your item, you know, in this case I have a handy dust buster, you know. It's going to go in the center where I place the lights. Uh, on your camera, uh, you'll be able to shoot at a much higher ISO when you're using this kind of setup because you're getting a lot of direct light. That's about it. You know, I hope these tips help uh, and, and give me an email if you have any questions. Or, you know, if you'd like, Moomaw Web Marketing would be more than happy to take product shots for you. Thanks so much. Take care. Till next time.